Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back to Mike Makes It. Today, I'll modify on a couple of Roby torches. The brightness isn't terrific. I could have two candles and it would be just as bright. So what I'm going to do is try to I'll show you that one. Very, very similar. Uh, runs off 18 volt Roby battery. What I'd like to do is to use these LEDs LEDs, a couple of buck converters, and I've got a couple of lenses here to pop onto the LED. Uh, the idea is the buck converter is going to take my 18 volt battery down to about three and a half volts, 3.6, 3.8 volts for the Luxon Star. Um, and we'll see what kind of brightness we get out of it. Um, hopefully, okay. A little bit, um, a bit, we'll suck it and see on this. I'm dropping 18 down to three volts. So this might get a little bit warm, um, and if it's in the plastic housing, it may overheat. But yeah, you know, this it's all experimental. We'll we'll try it. All I want to do is get a little bit better light out of it. Uh, it's okay, but it's not good. It's not white light. These are cool white, so should be a bit bit better if you're stuck in the attic or under a car. Now I'm not intending to get super duper brightness out of these. I just want something better than I've already got. There's one channel on uh, YouTube that uses these, um, and he made up a really, really good torch. I mean, it's blinding. You'll have planes landing in your field if you if you turn it on. Um, I'll put a link to that channel, uh, but I'm not trying to achieve that. I just want something better than I've currently got. So we'll get everything out the bags um, and have a little look what we have got. Bang to come through with the buck converters, and the LEDs are simply off uh, eBay. A couple of lenses we'll find. I'll just take one out of the bag. It should be fairly simple to uh, work out which is which. No, I won't take any out of the bag. We'll come back to that when I've got a pair of scissors. But I've got a 45 degree lens and a 90 degree lens, so it'll be interested to see, uh, interesting to see what the light pattern is. But what I'll do, I'll fire this up first, get a couple of wires soldered on there, and we'll come back and um, connect it up to the torch and just see. Um, what sort of brightness we have got before I go any further with it. Right, this one left the building in a puff of smoke, so that's gone. So I'll be down in the shops, bought another buck converter. This looks a slightly improved one, slightly better one. Not any more money, to be honest. That was a, less than five pounds with one pound 47 pence shipping for three. All right, so we're paying two pound e uh, two pound each for these, uh, and it's multifunctional. Um, I'm only going to use it as a buck converter, but you can use it as a battery charger as well. But in the situation I'm going to use it, um, I'll just go through the settings and um, how to set it up, um, which is quite interesting, and it worked. It, it worked lovely. On the left hand side, how I show it here. This is the 18 volt input from the Roby battery. Effectively, it's coming from a power supply but it's going to be powered up from one of them Roby batteries later. So we've got 18 volts coming in. I'm measuring the voltage coming out on this meter here. Um, I'm looking over to the bench power supply. I've got 18 volts going in, 10 volts coming out of here. So I want mid range for my LEDs, which is three and a half volts. So the pot on the left hand side, multi-turn pot, is the one that alters the voltage. So I'll tweak that. You can see the left hand meter dropping down. So I'm going to take that down to 3.5 volts. It's not very sensitive. It's not, it, it, what I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's not very sensitive. It's nice control. It's not jerky. Um, you can quite accurately control it. It's not all one end of the pot, it's the 10 turn pot. Uh, this one is a current, uh, uh, constant current output. You can see LEDs down the side. There's a red one there. And if I put a meter set to current across the output lead, you can see it goes into a constant current uh, mode. Or well, certainly the light comes on, uh, the red light saying, yeah, I'm constant current. And we're measuring 1.67 amps. Now for the LED, the mid range is 
650. Um, the actual spec is 600 to 750 milliamps. I'm going to run it on the lower end. I'm going to run it on about 600 milliamps. So I'm going to tweak this down to 600 milliamps. Almost there. That's close enough, I think. So basically, it's going to limit the maximum output current to 610 milliamps there. Um, and ta I'm taking the lead off, the current meter off, and it's going to give me a 3.5 volt output. So I'm not going to burn my LED out, um, and that should work hunky dory. What I did, the Luxon Star, I've mounted on an aluminium plate, so it should be fairly good heatsink wise. Uh, should pull the heat away. I'll just connect this up to the module and we'll see if we're blinded by light or another puff of smoke. So yeah, give me a minute. Well, that's hooked up to the LED now. It's just uh, it's just off shot. Um, and it, it's trimmed up well. I've still got, I'm just pointing to the meters that you can't see. Uh, just over 3.6 coming out of it uh, volts, 3.6 volts, 600 milliamps. That's what I'm aiming for. Um, and I'm measuring that directly to the LED, uh, the Luxon Star LED. So yeah, that all looks good, that's working. Let's just turn that off a second. So what I'll do now, I'll mount that into the torch. I'm just leaning over, excuse me, here we go. Now, that's a reflector. I want to get that on top of the LED. Now, I'm not going to be able to... Do, let me just lift the camera up a tad. I'm not going to be able to do that unless I just open the back of the reflector out a little bit uh, because there are some restrictions in the torch. I'm not going to be able to get this in, the reflector, and put the torch together. So uh, I'm going to have to go in the garage and just... Uh, I'm going to use one of my um, little drills, the uh, step drills. This is made of metal. I'm hoping it's not going to tear it around, but I'm going to open the hole up so this will sit flush to the aluminium and um, we should be able to get in the torch okay. So that's why I'll do that now and um, I'll show you the finished article. I drilled out the reflector to 40 millimeters. That gives me a little bit more to play with. So that sits on there quite nice. I don't really want to open it up anymore. Otherwise, you're going to start seeing the bolts and the black PCB, but I may have to because I'm still spaced out a couple more mil than I'd like. Although it does assemble um, this part of the torch, there's a little bit of a gap. It doesn't screw fully home. So I'll see what that's like in a minute. But another issue I had is mounting this board. Now, I was thinking it would just sit behind the lamp but no square board round hole so to speak so what I've done a bit medieval but I've cut a slot in the back there and that pops in there quite nicely so uh, then that'll go over the top then the reflector then in the top cap so what I'll do now I'll uh, wire the buck converter in so it connects up to the battery in this lot that's the dismantled torch i'll look it into the back of that get it partially put back together and uh, show you how i've got on i've got the buck converter now just tucked away into the back now you can see the luxon stars mounted on this plate batteries installed in the roby so it's just there you go, yeah, blinds me and the camera. So yeah, that, oh, you can see what I've done there. Yeah, that uh, seems to work okay. All I've got to do now is get a reflector on. Hopefully that'll sit uh, low enough for me. So we'll do that now. Well, there you go. All back together, LED down the middle, as you can see, and it works. It's bringing me torch into the 21st century. The, the beam pattern, isn't as best as I'd like it. You can see there's some rings showing. Uh, so what I may do in the future, depending on how I get on with it, it might be perfectly okay in the dark. 
I may um, open up the hole where the reflector is, or I should say where the LED is sticking out of the reflector. So the LED actually is further into the reflector, uh, thus it may throw the, the light around a little bit better. But I will try that. Um, we'll see how I get on, see if it catches fire, hopefully not. Nothing was running hot in it, which is a, a good thing. Um, with the old buck converters I had, like there, let me just reach over these things um, one really up for the job so yeah they didn't make it uh, into the torch although it would have been quite good if they did work because it's a lot smaller but yeah there's a Roby uh, modified with an LED I didn't want as I said at the beginning of the video um, something that's going to shine to the moon I just want something to be a little bit better than I already have and I think that's what I've got Anyhow, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, found it useful, thumbs up would be great. And why not subscribe?